In this video we're going to look at place value. So I've written a number, 8452.316. Notice why I don't say a point three hundred and sixteen. Whenever you get to the decimal point, you then just say each digit separately, like 316. Okay? Let's look at the place value. So first of all you've got units after the decimal point or before the decimal point. So you've got units, then you've got tens, then you've got hundreds, then you've got thousands. To the right of the decimal point, you've got tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Okay, so it's very important to know which uh, number corresponds to which different place value. Typical exam questions could be they will give you a number and ask you what does the number five represent, and so on. Okay, also be aware that if you've got a number like this, then that would be millions. Okay, so you'd have units, tens, hundreds, of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. Okay, so here's a typical exam question. It says the circumference of Jupiter is 276,498 miles. What is the value of the six? So if you notice, the six is in the thousands column. So the answer would be 6,000, or 6,000 in words, or you could even write thousands. So you can, because it's in the thousands column, so you can just write thousands. Though, I, told, I normally would write one of the top two. What you cannot write, though, is you cannot write thousand. That would be wrong, okay? You can't write thousand as a singular because it's six thousands, okay? But I would just write six thousand as one, as one word, or one number or one word like so. So here's another question. It says, write down the value of the figure 7 in the number 5,768. So because it's in the hundreds column, you'd write 700. Alternatively, you could write 700 or hundreds. Okay, but you cannot just write 100. 